Hi guys, another quick video, um, bit of an interesting one this, it's a four string tin guitar, um, it stands up on its own which is really quite cool, I mean you don't need a stand so there's a saving to start with, um, it's an Amoretti Virginia, um, I don't know if it was a pasta tin or a bottle or I don't speak Italian so I'm afraid I don't know, um, but it's quite a nice tin really, I hope you can see that. Um, Quite pretty in it. It's got a sound a plug hole sound hole, plug drainer sound hole is what I mean to say. It's a four string, uh, an oak and ebony bridge, pretzel marks on the front, um, four odd open tuners. I mean this really has got a kind of a, a rustic nailed together feel about it. You know it's not, we're not talking a shiny fender here, this is a, a nailed together tin and stick and it sounds really good for it. Um, you can see there's a piezo inside and there's a jack in the middle there. The jack's central, everything about it is symmetrical bar the sound hole, so there's nothing wrong with restringing it the other way up. I'm saying it left handed. Um, it's totally universal really. Um, at the moment it's tuned, tuned to uh, D, G, D, D, so the top two are the same like you would banjo tuning I suppose, and it does sound a bit like that. Um, I've never played banjo. And I'm not much of a guitar player, um, but acoustically it's quite loud. Um, um, I'm sure someone could make good use of it. Um, I mean, if nothing else is a talking point, stood in the corner by the fire, well, maybe not by the fire, that's not very clever, uh, or on the wall. Um, I suppose you could you call it a travel, travel tin tar, couldn't you? It's small enough. Um, obviously it plugs in as well. website if you want to have a look at some of my, my normal sort of tin guitars and cigar box guitars and stuff I'm at www.randyroosterscigarboxguitars.com and um, I'll put a thingy on the screen as well um, so come and have a look see what else we do all right so actually take care Ta -da.